Very good afternoon and welcome. Yes, it is a new year. The first time that you're having KTM's Colin this time out. A spicy show it is expected to be. And so will it be. Be sure to get some spotting updates for the next one hour. And yes, it is also going to be a spicy one. Let's start with matters to do with what has been transpiring in, in the Kenyan Premier League. Yesterday, we had the best of the best getting those prizes. And it was Michael Madoya who is the most valuable 2017 Kenyan Premier League player. For him, he aided uh, Zuke Richo actually to finish on the 12th position, but he was an impressive player at the midfield of that uh, team. And for that, he was crowned the most valuable 2017 player. Take a look. He might not be known Most by many. Oh yeah, Michael Zoo no. FC. No. But his prowess did the talking for Zoo Kericho's midfielder Michael Madoya, who is the 2017 season Kenyan Premier League Most Valuable Player. The midfielder surprisingly beat a seasoned players including Kenyan international goalkeeper Patrick Matasi and veteran Gurmaya forward Mary Kagere to claim the most prestigious award. Honestly, siku tarajia kama zineza kuja zote. Nilikuwa natarajia maybe moja, but kupata zote ine siku tarajia kabisa. Madoya meanwhile was the biggest winner of the show, also winning the fair player of the season, the new player of the year, and also the midfielder of the year awards. Musotsi Patrick Matasi Poster Rangers. After playing a crucial role in guiding Poster Rangers to a top five finish in the Kenyan Premier League, Arambe Stars goalkeeper Patrick Matasi, whose heroics earned the national team the 2017 Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup, was named the goalkeeper of the season. Okay, kwa sasa hivu kiangalia kutoka nitoke FC Leopards, kakuja Poster Rangers. Poster wamekua kama family, au ndo wamekua kini push, ndo maana hizi awazi na kuja zenyeo. Siyezi kata kuchaza ball kwa timu zingine za Kenya. Ukiangalia vizuri, FC Leopards walikuja wakataka ni chaza nao mpira, but... Vile tulikuwa tunonge nao, siku fresh wa nao, sababu kwa ngefata the right channel, saa hizi ngekwa niko ingwe. Lakini sasa kwa sababu wa kufata the right channel, domana bado niko posta. Madhari United's veteran defender George Wiseau Wino walked away with the Defender of the Year award, while Karibangi Sharks tactician William Muluya won the Coach of the Year award after guiding the Kenyan Premier League debutants to an impressive third place finish with his then star player Masud Juma now of South Africa's Cape Town City FC, winning the Golden Boots Award after netting 17 goals in the concluded season. Nasema labda msimu huu ambao tumeanza ama ambao tutakaoanza mwezi ujao, lazima kutakuwa na challenges, utakuwa msimu mgumu kwa maana ukiangalia tumekuwa na kwa kila category tumekuwa na goalkeeper, tumekuwa na mfungaji bora, tumekuwa na coach pia na wote ambao wamefanya vyema. So wengi watakuwa natuangalia tutaweza kuwa na matokeo ambayo tulikuwa nayo mwaka uliopita so nikutia tu bidii kwa pea uh, motisha ambao wale wamekuja na kuona kama pia tunaweza maliza vyema pia mwaka huu new season ni kuanzia mali tuliachia last year hopefully tuna hope vitu zitakuwa better than last year so ni kuwa hard tu kuongeza more effort alafu tuone mwaka itakuwaaje with the 2017 season done and dusted another season is in the offing and everyone will be eager to star. Moses Wahisi, Kitian Sports. KPL CEO. Yes, we remember how Gurmai had an impressive uh, 2017 season for them. They were the champions then. We're going to be looking in keen all the other winners in the different categories in matters uh, to do with the Kenyan Premier League. So Professor Kenyan Premier League, uh, most of valuable players and also all the other players who got uh, different awards. But remember, we have been having this debacle about the sports PESA uh, sponsorship and also the different uh, betting funds. But yesterday during that event, the CEO himself, was Professor Ronald Karauli, said that there are talks going on between the betting of farms and the government. And maybe if things go as they think it might go, they might be going back and sponsor the different teams that they used to sponsor before that 35% debacle. And as Potpesa, again, I think the future of us sponsoring the league hangs in the balance, but I want to assure you that the talks we're having with government are not concluded yet. I think we still have some time to come up with an amicable solution to the stalemate that we have at the moment. As we talk, 
with uh, government on this matter. Because remember now, the tax has come into effect. We are not ones to evade tax. So what we're discussing with government is for them to allow us, as we pay this monthly tax, to give us a rebate as we sponsor the teams we sponsor. If we are able to achieve that, then it would be a very easy solution because we'll continue with the sponsorships that we have because either way, that money will be going to government. And as I said before, I'll keep saying it, and I'll, as we speak with government, I'll keep telling them the same story, that they have their role to play. In Kenya, we have a big problem with sports infrastructure, with playgrounds and pitches and basketball courts and all types of facilities that sportsmen and women all around the country need to develop the sport. And I feel that that is the role they should play. When it comes to sponsoring the teams, then corporate sponsorships must continue. As you're talking about the corporate sponsorship, uh, very, very impressive. Yes, they racked in uh, some and good money, and uh, that money actually has been used by the different teams for different uh, reasons. But uh, let's uh, go back to a bigger story of the day, and that is about the uh, KPL awards that we had yesterday. And in very, very uh, quick succession, I know we're talking about uh, Mike uh, Madoya, who actually was uh, voted the most valuable player. I know there has been a lot of uh, talks, and people are saying that uh, these uh, awards were not done fairly. But remember, it is the coaches uh, plus uh, the uh, captains that uh, did uh, choose their most valuable player. And with that, we're having Michael Madoya as the most uh, valuable player. Remember, for Michael Madoya, he did not only rack in the most valuable player. We're going to be seeing that in more details. But remember Patrick Matassi? Yes, for Patrick Matassi, he either decided to finish in the top uh, five in the Kenyan Premier League, and remember his exploits uh, during the uh, Sekafa uh, Challenge for him. He also did uh, justice uh, for the country. Defender of the Year went uh, to George Weiss Owino. He's also been a very, very instrumental. He's a veteran uh, defender, one will call him. But uh, for him, he was able to be fitted with uh, that. Um, uh, when we talk about midfield of the year, again, it went to the MVP, the most valuable player of uh, this, uh, the season. And uh, that, once again, is Michael uh, Madoya. We go over quickly to other others we'll see. Golden Boot, remember Golden Boot, Masud Juma. He was for, uh, playing for Karibangi Sharks. Now he's uh, gone to uh, play in uh, South Africa. He racked in 17 goals. And for him, he was uh, uh, with ease. He, he took the Golden Boot. Uh, fair play of the year again went uh, to the MVP, and for him, he's dancing all the way because he was uh, fitted. He went with uh, four uh, different, winning four different uh, categories. We talk about uh, uh, fair play. We also talk about new player of the year. It was, again, uh, Michael as a new player. Coach of the year, it went to William Muluya. Remember William Muluya for Karibangi Sharks? They had a very, very fine season because they came in as underdogs, but they showed the Kenyan Premier League giants that they can also dance against them. Let's go to to uh, other category. Team manager of the year go, went to Jolawi Obondo. He's uh, been a team manager for quite some uh, time. Lifetime chairman's award went to Frank Okod. At the same time, fair play club of the year went to Sofa Parker. Remember, Sofa Parker on the other side were very, very impressive and they were able to finish on the second position, but it was uh, quite some distance behind Gormahia who were the season's uh, Kenyan Premier League winner. So it is matters to do with the Kenyan Premier League. We are going to be talking more. I know there has been a lot of uh, talks in regards to who, who won what in uh, what uh, category. Also, people are criticizing. Some are saying that uh, uh, they thought Mehdi Kagere would have been uh, uh, crowned the victor. But remember, the coaches and also uh, the different uh, captains said that this is the man who did justice and this is the man who needs to be uh, known as the most uh, valuable player. Now let's talk about uh, Kenya Cup because uh, today we will be having the Kenya Cup action. And when we talk about the Kenya Cup action, it will be the fifth stop of the season. Different teams trying to make big statements, but it won't be that easy for, different, uh, for the different teams. Cabras Sugar will be hosting uh, Sports Pesa Queens. And remember for Queens, they are saying, Maybe we don't know how our season will be if we won't be getting the money that we want, but they remain confident, optimistic. Maybe they will rack in impressive points. Mwamba against uh, 
uh, logistics. Remember for Mwamba, they have been uh, having a run for their money, but also they are very, very confident that maybe they will be able to sail and get those maximum uh, points. We just take a look at more fixes because we're also going to be having Nakuru in action. Nakuru will be uh, playing against uh, Black Blood. Remember for Nakuru, they have been struggling. They went down against KCB this time out. They are saying they're confident maybe they will be able to rack maximum points and maybe get some bonus points when they play against the university side, Black Blood, in uh, today's uh, uh, tie. Uh, resolution, uh, 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 Saracens on the other side, is going to be going up against another resolution, which is a uh, Kisi. So it will be a uh, Kisi against uh, 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 Saracens, and also a very, very uh, crucial match because for Kisi, they have been uh, struggling, but will they have what it takes again? to uh, get maximum points. It won't be an easy tie for them, but we will just wait and see what transpires in that match. Yes, we're talking about other matches. Yes, we have Strathmore Leos uh, against uh, Total Nondis, KCB will be playing against Menengai. Remember, for KCB, it is also a crucial and very, very important match for them, but just a matter of uh, minutes, hours, and we are going to know who will be able to boss all the way and get the maximum points and maybe racking the, uh, the bonus points in those uh, ties. Now let's talk about what has been happening in matters to do with the police cross country. Yes, we will be having the police cross country. We have been, we've had the police uh, cross country earlier today and Geoffrey Kamoror was the star man in that action. At the same time, Stacey Ndiwa emerged the victor in matters to do with the women's race. Let's take a look what transpired in those uh, ties. It has been very fair to me. Yeah, it is nice. The competition was so hard because uh, I ran for my first time with uh, the fastest man, Kamorol. Yeah. I got a morel when uh, I was being in front a bit from Kamorol. That's that makes me to get a morel to finish the race well.